Forget your trendy modern off-roaders, your BMW X5s, Volvo XC90s. You're not so fashionable, but oh so serious off-roader, the Land Rover Defender is hard to beat. Tough as old boots, it's, it's perhaps as rough as old boots and it's as refined as, as a very unrefined pair of old boots. The Defender replaced the long-serving Series 3 back in 1983. Seven years later, it was renamed the Defender 90 and 110 to distinguish it from the company name. It has been around for years and it's fantastic to see a vehicle now that still looks very similar to the, to the original model. These vehicles were the most radical change that Land Rover had ever made to its range of models. They were distinguished visually by a one-piece windscreen, a radiator grille that was flush with the front of the wing panels and wheel arch extensions. Each vehicle that I've driven has been a completely different experience. Um, depending on the wheels you've got, depending on the suspension, depending on the size of your steering wheel, depending on the seats that you've got inside it, I've never driven two Land Rovers the same. With 2.5 and 3.5 litre petrol and diesel versions available, you can buy a Defender for between 18 and 28,000 pounds. Why Land Rover? <laughs> Look what it does. It's fantastic. It's fun. The family enjoy it. It's powerful. It's, it's exciting. It's challenging. And I like breaking them so we can fix them again. <laughs> The Defender is one of the most popular off-roaders, be it parked in a country estate or on a hillside. This car genuinely remains true to what it is.